Hey everyone, this is Carla R. Jenkins, and today I will be talking about my passing my Google Cloud Platform Cloud Digital Leader exam, my exam experience, and I'm doing this to give you more information so that you can make a better decision about the process as well as the exam. So a little bit about me. Uh, I am a multi-cloud professional, so multi-cloud means learning more than one cloud provider. So in this case, I am certified and knowledgeable of Amazon Web Services, Microsoft, Azure, as well as Oracle Cloud. Now, as of yesterday, because I'm filming this Friday, October 28, 2022, I am also Google Cloud certified, which is great because here in the United States, the top three cloud certifications are Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. And it's been my dream for over two years to get all three. And so I'm finally here. I'm very happy about it. However, this video is going to be about two things. First, the exam, and then two, the online experience with Criterion. So number one, for the certification exam, Google Cloud is way more advanced even at the fundamental versus its counterparts. What do I mean by that? What I mean is this. AWS and Azure assumes that you don't have any cloud experience. The way some of those questions were written, it is as if you had to work in the IT environment or a cloud computing environment for you to know about certain use cases. And I say that to you because, as I mentioned here in the United States, Google Cloud is the third most popular cloud. And if you're you're using it, then it's going to be more advanced than um, Azure or AWS. An example of that is it does focus a lot more on machine learning and artificial intelligence. So machine learning is advanced. Uh, they had some definitions, but they also had some use cases too. Uh, they had three different types of machine learning, auto machine learning, BigQuery machine learning, and then you also had cloud, I believe, vision AI. Cross-reference that with Microsoft Azure. Yes, Azure Fundamentals is the general broad-based one, AZ900, and it does talk about some products and services that are machine learning and artificial intelligence, but it also has an Azure artificial intelligence fundamental, which is called AI 900. And that's more heavily leaned to that. Uh, with Google Cloud, it is more technical cloud. So if you are going into this, even at the fundamental for cloud digital leader, I want you to keep that in mind. I had 60 questions, which were more questions than I had for the Azure Fundamentals. I believe the Azure Fundamentals is like 28. So it's around the same number of questions as I believe the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner was. I have used the resources I've used to pass my exam were the Google Cloud Partners. I received a free exam voucher for them. I'm currently in the Google Cloud Jumpstart program. That program's focus, and I've been in that since January 2022. I'm currently in the mentoring phase of the program. Uh, it mine covers Associate Cloud Engineer, which is the associate one, and my taking the fundamentals was to learn more about the Google Cloud questioning framework and exam structure as well as the criteria base. I think I made the right decision by going to cloud digital leader over associate cloud engineering straight into it um, because at the fundamental you get more of a introduction of what's to come with ACE. Um, an another thing I use is exam pro. Uh, I'll put the link in the description when I'm finished with this video. They had the Cloud Digital Leader online course, the flashcards, and the practice exams. I do, they do explain it to me in a better way that makes me understand. Uh, Andrew Brown also does work with free code camp. So just the free six hour classes on YouTube. Um, I also did SkillSert Pro, Cloud Academy too. I am an AWS community builder and we receive free 
Cloud Academy subscription. So I went through that and that was extremely helpful. So all of those together really helped me. And finally, I will also mention Pluralsight Cloud Happy Promotion. I'm recording this October 28, 2022. And if uh, you're interested in GCP, it does have a free exam print um, training track. You will have to get some type of subscription to unlock their practice exams, but the plural site helped me with the site reliability, uh, reliability expert. So the SRE questions such as the um, service level objective, service level indicator. I already knew what SLA was because I'm IDLE certified, but just the site reliability expert questions that are prominently and they're on the exam. Uh, that's something I did give credit to Pluralsight. They they helped me better understand what they were um, on the exam. And so the exam is more advanced for Google Cloud than their counterparts, um, AWS and Microsoft Azure. Now I want to transition to Criterion. And I took the online one because I'm a native Clevelander. I fluctuate between Cleveland, Ohio and Washington, D.C. They're both the Eastern time zone. But the next physical testing center for Criterion is over 100 miles away. So I, by default, took the online proctoring. It was not good. What do I mean by that? I was supposed to take my exam on Sunday, October 23rd. I was stuck on the capture page where they captured you and used viral metric for your face for 40 minutes. It was horrible. So I got rescheduled for Thursday. I came in Thursday, 7 p.m. EDT. And what happened? I make it all the way to the end. And they allegedly said that my website froze. So I had to go back out, exit the exam, come back in. And the chat person had to reschedule me for 8 p.m. And it's very nerve wracking. You already just want to sit down, take and pass your exam. On top of all of that usability problems, it made it even more cumbersome um, because it was shutting down. Add to the fact that you had to show your ID. That's not the issue. She couldn't read the ID. So I had to take a copy. I had to take a photo of it on on this and then supersize it so she can see my name. I have taken Pearson View on View online practice. It's way more efficient. You do start off online, you know, on your laptop or your tablet, but they give you an option of either an email link or a text message link to my phone, which I use. You, I take a photo of my ID I take a photo of the four quarters around me. I send that back. They process it and they leave me in the room. It is way more efficient. I've never had to reschedule my Pearson View online practice and exam. I went straight in there and passed. This criterion is, is very cumbersome and not as user friendly. And if you are going to take it for GCP, that's something I do want to put out to you because I want you to know full well going in that that interface can be sketchy at times, but I'm very happy that I did pass my exam, but I will take that in consideration for Databricks because Databricks use Web Assessor too. Uh, and that means I probably would also have to go through Criterion. But those were the two parts of it. The first part is my passing my Google Cloud exam, the content, the questions, and the resources that I use. And then the second part of that is the criteria online proctoring part. So I wanted to give you a full, full overview of everything regarding my Google Cloud experience. I would like to thank everyone for taking out the time to watch this. I put the link in the description in the bottom, whether you're watching this on the blog or YouTube. If you are watching on YouTube, please subscribe at carlrjenkins.com forward slash YouTube channel. If you're watching directly on YouTube, click the like 
the subscribe and the bell icon to never miss any videos in IT, cloud, and project management. And I'll see everybody in the next video.